Ohio has a new governor this morning with aggressive plans to try and turn around the state's economy. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is live for us in Columbus with the story on this new day in the Buckeye State. Tom, good morning. Good morning, Lance. And of course, that's exactly what it is. Republican John Kasich and Lieutenant Governor Mary Taylor took the oath of office here in Columbus at 12.01 a.m. in the Senate chamber of the Ohio State House, which is right behind me. Now, Kasich had wanted the ceremony to be a private affair in his home in suburban Westerville, but there was enough criticism of that plan that it was moved downtown and open to the media. Now, the theme of this inauguration is New Day Ohio, and the governor made it clear to his cabinet members on how he expects them to perform just to make that happen. Just a couple um, conditions. Honesty, integrity, teamwork, serving the people of the state, improving their lives. So we've got a lot big job ahead of us, but uh, the most important thing is that we have to stay a team. If we stay a team, we'll be successful. And Ohioans in the future and another generation will thank us for what we have done here uh, today and over the period of the next four years. Now, as the governor entered the state house office for the first time, he said that Lieutenant Governor Mary Taylor will head up the state's developmental efforts. And of course, Lance, that midnight inauguration was the official ceremony. There'll be a more public, more festive occasion at the Ohio Theater across the street from the state house at noon. And one note on the Bible that's being used in both of these inaugurations: it belonged to Kasich's parents, both of whom, Lance, were killed years ago by an accident with a drunk driver. Tom McKee reporting live for us this morning in Columbus. Tom, thank you.